So I've just finished installing Windows 10 Preview. It's the uh, 9926 build. Uh, the drivers install work actually went really fine. Uh, what I did do is just install all the Windows drivers I had dumped before. Now you can find these on techtablets.com under the Techlast X98 Air 3G. You'll find the drivers there. So just a little quick preview here of Windows 10. I don't really recommend that people install this and you'll see why in just a minute because it's still quite uh, a beta really. Well it is a preview. So there's this new thing here like you've got tablet mode which I found that using tablet mode you can't select anything on the desktop and using tablet mode gives you the touch keyboard but when you take it out of tablet mode you actually lose that keyboard. So now I've got access to the desktop which is great, all my drivers were here but uh, I can't seem to type if I run Internet Explorer I can't actually type it all here the keyboard will not pop up for me now I don't remember this happening in the first previews that I tried but it seems that if I want the keyboard now I'm going to have to go into tablet mode obviously this is something that Microsoft's going to have to fix so now the keyboard pop up for me. So everything seems to be uh, pretty fast and smooth. I did notice that when I first installed all the drivers and I hadn't set up the display driver that it was quite laggy. There seemed to be a noticeable display lag without that Intel HD driver. And Windows 10 actually update installed quite a few drivers for me. It updated the Realtek driver and it um, updated the Windows, uh, sorry, the Intel HD graphics driver that was updated. So was the GLONASS chipset driver and the bus driver. So that was a little bonus there. That was nice to have some newer drivers. So using Internet Explorer, everything seems to be fast and as per normal. You now have, of course, this new start menu. Now, this is the start menu in tablet mode. And for some reason, I found out that there was no actual tile here for Internet Explorer and I had to find it under all apps here and I just can't seem to drag the actual icon over and add it so if someone will let me know I think two clicks is like a right click two touches sorry it seems a little bit complicated there but if I go back into that and then take it out of tablet mode uh, you can now also resize that start menu so it looks just like that so it takes up over half of the screen really uh, there were no problem with the touch drivers as well that's uh, the driver pack that I dumped off the Windows 8.1 version so there was no issues there with the touch driver being inverted or anything just as well and the rotation and everything that all works fine and the camera if I can get to the camera as well, because there's no, I'm used to Windows 8 now having to swipe and then go start, or you've got the start menu here, so cameras, where is the camera? Uh, oh look, there's Internet Explorer, we're right down here. So I found it, so now I can put that up, place that tile there in my start menu, so that's good. And obviously where's the camera? Well, I'm going to have to find it, I think, camera, see if they are working correctly. something went wrong okay so that's not very good perhaps I need to update that driver I'm pretty sure I installed that all correctly unless there's something in device manager that's showing um, where's the control panel now hmm computer uh, system properties I think so there you go, device manager. Okay, there's something there that's not quite well that's under network adapters. But according to imaging devices. No. Okay, so the imaging signal process is there, so I'm pretty sure I installed those drivers, so it seems the camera's not working under Windows 10 yet. Perhaps we need a new updated driver from TechLast for that one. 
Okay, so the other interesting thing is now there's a new settings menu. So you can change a few things. One of the couple of well, a couple of the interesting things here that changed now I've noticed that uh, there's a couple of new options when it comes to is battery saver, which is interesting. So that might might help increase the battery life of these tablets, which is pretty good anyway. You probably don't really need it. A battery saver, what that does is it automatically uh, turns on at 20% and reduces the background activity. So I should actually maybe try that and see if it makes a, a difference to my battery life or affects the performance. Um, yeah, so just a few other things. This is a new whole new menu. The tablet mode is there, so you can turn it on and off, but there's no other options yet. So it would be nice to see an option to do with uh, the keyboard, pop-up keyboard and desktop mode or non-tablet mode, whatever you call it, would be nice. The whole notification thing. Uh, what I don't like also too is this. So if you click on search, the web, it comes up and gives you all this Bing image of the day. I mean, that's stuff that I don't think anyone really wants, but Microsoft's forcing that upon us. So, wow, some Hollywood stars are divorcing. Uh, do I really need to know that? Well, no. Maybe there's a way to customize this. Obviously there is, but it would be good to just somehow to get rid of that. Well, I can't find a way to customize it. So hopefully Windows are going to change all that because I don't really like them to force kind of bloat and spam onto us. Spammy news articles and things that you probably don't really want to see at all. And another couple of things is, okay, there's, there, yeah, that notifications here. So Microsoft OneDrive integration. That's the same as pretty much Windows 8.1, but it seems to be more forced upon us. I think you can disable that. Uh, the Play Store, sorry, it's not Play Store, Windows Store is, uh, and this is a beta version, so the appearance of it is different. And I tried to install 3D Mark, uh, and that doesn't seem to work for me. So that seems to load in awfully slow. Very slow. It's still like. Images there. There they go. Huh. So I was trying to install 3D Mark and I keep getting this error here if you can see. I don't know why. Perhaps because, well, it is a beta, so there's things aren't working. It is a preview. This is the store beta and I keep getting that error code. So I don't think I can install any games. So it would be interesting to see if 3D Mark performance increased maybe under Windows 10. Um, I'd assume it'll probably be about the same because it really seems to be just like Windows 8 and they've just modified it really. So the the new store does look nice, just gives you a few more details and whatnot on things. Uh, the layout of it is uh, it's just a fresh new kind of layout. Maybe more eye-catching, more appealing. But there seems to be no real speed issues running these kind of apps, so I mean, do we still call them metro apps, if it is a metro app? And there's a few other options here I noticed also that are quite interesting is under wireless, we now have the option to put the GPS uh, into like flight mode to turn that off as well, so that'll be handy for saving battery life maybe because I don't want GLONASS on all the time, I don't need it at the moment, why do I need location services, I'm not running maps or anything, so it'd be handy just to turn that off now so I can save hopefully a little bit of battery life because maybe that is running in the background still being powered, so maybe that might make a slight difference and of course you can turn the Bluetooth off right there and wireless. Now I think in Windows 8.1 I couldn't just turn the Bluetooth off like that, I had to use this and well I couldn't really turn it off. There was no real way, to, I had to go into Device Manager to disable it if I didn't want Bluetooth. So now that's handy to have that option to turn just those selected ones off. And of course you have the flight mode just to turn everything off. And otherwise, there's a few things. Uh, mobile connection, for some reason, I don't think... Um, ah, that's what the problem is. And Device Manager, that under Networking, there was something there with an asterisk it wasn't installed correctly, that is the modem. So that's not working. I'll have to try and find a driver for that in Windows 10. Or hopefully Tech Last Support will release a driver for that. So the 
SIM card reader of course is here and it seems that uh, this is not working under Windows 10. And the update, I did a few updates as I mentioned before, updated drivers, uh, which seemed to be good that at least Windows are onto things like the, the driver there, but they seem to have no driver for that modem. And there's just a definition update coming through. So swapping from the side, that still works. You can have multiple desktops. So a new little thing uh, with Windows 10. And this tablet mode thing, I think, is the most annoying feature at the moment. Not having the touch keyboard because you need to actually run tablet mode. Do that, and then I lose the desktop. So why we can't have both at the same time? Why can I not have desktop mode and the keyboard? Uh, don't know. Ask Microsoft. Uh, hopefully they're going to fix that. And by menu here, there's Internet Explorer, and that's fine. You now have that logo there. So seems to be all running fine but it's not something I'm going to stick with I'm not going to keep it this tablet on Windows 10 because it is just a preview it's very much a beta and not really I think the most productive it does seem stable it hasn't really crashed on me but they're those annoying things I just mentioned so but it's good to see Microsoft changing things but uh, Perhaps maybe they've gone a bit over top with some things. Definitely with that horrible search Bing thing popping up. Uh, that's that's disgusting that they've done that. Who wants to see their, their bloody Bing image of the day? Well, I certainly don't. Maybe some people might like that. So anyway, that is the, the Tech Last X98 Air 3G running Windows 10. This is uh, build number 9926. And of course this is all just an evaluation, later on I'll have to remove it if I was going to keep it, there'll be more updates coming, but uh, I think Microsoft mentioned, when is it, mid-year? Maybe the end of the year we'll have Windows 10 and these new tablets will start shipping with Windows 10 newer uh, Chinese tablets, which hopefully will have the new Atom X3s in them, the Cherry Tray or whatever they're going to call them until it will be nice to see those through with these Retina displays, Windows 10, and hopefully they add full-size USB ports on them, USB 3 ports. One full-size USB port would be nice, like what my Surface 3 has, but perhaps I'm dreaming. Anyway, that's just a quick preview there, Windows 10. Thanks for watching. If you did like this video, if you found it helpful, please give me a like, it does help. And do subscribe, I'll have more up-and-coming videos on these Chinese tablets. Bye for now.